to all the hustlers And most importantly you, the customer The rap boys in the building tonight What's up, sports fans, and welcome to the Sports Shack. Again. Hosted by... Fabzi. And myself, Buddy Burns. Right now, we're going to get into something we like to call hot topics. And one of the hot topics right now at the Sports Shack is LeBron, LeBron James going back to Cleveland. I'm kind of depressed because the fact that you can't wear no anti-LeBron jerseys or etc., that's kind of bullshit. If I was a fan of Cleveland, I want to express my fucking feelings. And put an X on my LeBron jersey, you know, not burn it in the stadium. I know that's not allowed, but like, <laughs> put a fucking X on jersey should be at least allowed. We did it for Vince Carter. Why shouldn't they do it for LeBron? What makes LeBron that fucking special? We didn't ban Vince no, Carter didn't. jerseys exactly in the ACC. Exactly, I agree. We didn't do that. So you can't say that Toronto did the same thing. No, I know. This is the first time I've ever heard that. And that's what I'm saying. What makes him different? I agree. This is the uh, Cleveland uh, should do something about that because as much as the guy is a dick and he stiffed you guys, uh, you can't force someone not to wear his jersey. That's ridiculous. With whatever you want on it, you can put it next on a jersey you fucking own. You pay for it. You can do yeah. whatever you want. Exactly. Okay, let's move on to uh, this past uh, weekend. There's been a lot of fighting in sports. It's entertainment. UFC is hitting mainstream. <laughs> Can I say? So what do you think about the, in the NFL, the Johnson and uh, Finnegan uh, fight? You know what? I thought it was entertaining. After the helmets came off and I just see random looks, the fight was everything. Twitter was all about the fight. Facebook, all the social media was all about, did you see the fight? Did you see the fight? For me, that game had the least interest. Afterwards, I turned it on to, to see the fight. My well, point is, it's fucking entertaining. Well, the NFL fined them 25000 each. Fuck change. And Mr. Johnson. Okay, so that is another question. Do you think that the punishment was fit for that crime? Odds of this happening again is pretty low, especially for Andre Johnson, which is a guy with high regards in the manager's department. I doubt this will ever happen again, especially with these two players. But then again, the divisional rivals. A fine is a good fine towards this. If this happened beginning of the year, it would be at least a two-game suspension. If it was well, it should at least year, be a one-game suspension. At least a one-game. But it's end of the season. Teams need their players. Like John J. Johnson's probably in one of the richest franchises. They need them to make the playoffs so they could generate revenue. To that, they have to keep the playmaker. Or else, so they're they bending. Might, so they're bending rules for certain teams. Yeah, to make revenue, man. It's all about That's the bottom horrible. line. That's horrible. Okay. Bottom line, maybe bottom line. What about uh, in the La Liga? O jogo bonito, the Barcelona and Real Madrid game. <laughs> uh, this game. That whooping. That was ass whooping. At its finest. As much as I hate to say it, at its finest. <sighs> That was horrible. That was one-sided. Anyone that had doubt, she shut the hell up and watch soccer and understand that Barcelona's a better team and they'll win La Liga this year. Okay, Maybe this next year. year Real Madrid it takes. It doesn't. You can't buy a new team and expect them to be superstars. There's no way of them being champions right away, especially with the established team. Okay. Probably best in long time. Real Madrid, like is missing, Real Madrid is missing uh, a big key to their team, Kaká, okay? okay. Oh, don't now he's missing Kaká, but the whole year we don't need Kaká. Don't even go there. But what about we the, the shenanigans Kaka. that happened during the game? With Cristian Ronaldo and uh, Barcelona's ma uh, uh, manager? You know what? That's, that's a little exaggeration. The goalie coming across the field... No, but wanting I'm to punch you. out uh, Ronaldo, which, you know, the guy had pretty much every right to want to do that. Then, no, throughout the game, Ramos throwing down his, uh, his fellow countrymen, and then at the end of the game, throwing one of his fellow countrymen a little zap. Yeah, but see, you don't really think about that in the game when the intensity is high, your team's getting raped, last goal was his fault. 
It happens. It's in the game. I doubt they'll fucking hold grudges when the time comes to play. Well, I don't know. I doubt it. I when put, it's time it's for uh, the super team, Team Spain, to join, they are a there's, a little, team. there's a little crack in their armor. Bro, they, of course they're a fucking super team. They win Euro and World Cup. If you don't win those and you're not a super team, what, what, the, what makes you a super team? They're a super team. And if, you're in, if you doubt it, you're fucking stupid. Okay, we'll leave it at that right now. Yeah. And remember, folks, we say it, we play it. We Do you know what beef is? Do you know what beef is? Ask yourself. Do you know what beef is? Come on. Ha 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 ha. Check out this bizarre rapper style used by me. The B I G. I put my 